roller derby, funnily enough, um, initiated as a women's sport. Whereas most sports in the world actually started as a men's sport and then became a women's sport, roller derby is one of the few that actually started off as a dominant women's sport and then became a men's sport as well. So this is something quite special about the sport um, for all women in general. But then crack the thunder I'm business and legal chair and then I'm the bookkeeper as well for the league. Basically WUFTA is the actual um, roller derby league and we have now um, joined the Apprentice League whereby we've got a whole list of things and criteria we have to pass in order to be graduated and then we are officially a WUFTA member league eventually. The horizon, feeling the sunshine once again. I remember roller skating as a child um, before rollerblades came out um, and so I thought why not give it a go, I mean I must, it's, it's like riding a bike, you, you don't lose it so anyway so I tagged along and I was like totally hooked. So roller derby is a full contact sport on roller skates and it's pretty awesome. You would have two teams um, on track, um, there would be five at a time, one jammer on each side and four blockers on each side. So we skate on an oval track and what the objective is, is for the jammer to break through the blockers, come back a second time around, then every opposing player they pass, they score a point. But in doing so, this is where the contact comes in. Um, blockers need to prevent the opposing jammer from getting through where, and assisting their own jammer to pass. So this is when the full contact comes in, when you actually have to hit someone out or you knock someone down. It's just part of the sport. Jammer about to start. bunch of feisty girls who enjoy a little bit more of an active sport. I am the membership chair so I'm, I'm just like the kind of the go-between between people that are interested in joining um, and how they join and all that kind of information. Um, I also organize all the, our social activities. We quite, like to do quite a lot as a, as a league and it's quite good for our morale. actually didn't know what Derby was. I didn't know what Derby was when I started. I didn't know what Derby was a month into my skating here. I was still like, I don't know what this game actually is. Like, so I had to end up YouTubing it just to like, oh right, okay, it's full contact sport, okay, tick, I can deal with that. Had a few like crises in my head, like maybe I've signed up to something I shouldn't have done, but totally worth it. I am the marketing and the PR chair for the league and so I obviously run everything to market roller derby as much as we can. So my way to give back is to help by volunteering to run the league and which is the same with um, all the other chair members and our managers and all the volunteers that help out in our committees that we run on a day-to-day -day basis. The running of all the league stuff, the business, doing the books, getting collecting all the monies in and yeah just making sure everything runs smoothly. <laughs> I'll do all the preparation work, all the background work to ensure that things run smoothly um, at the bout. Um, it's all about the preparation and not so much about what happens on the actual day. At all our games, we try to focus on giving back to the community. Um, we've supported the Saraki Barton Centre, we've supported uh, Mosaic, the Rape Crisis, uh, Sia Katala Orphanage, and we're doing the Cape Town Refugee Centre. be strolling throughout you can't take a break even if you're winning by like 20 points you have to pretend like you're losing the whole game through um good i mean it's tight all the way um so like scores in roller derby can be very very wide apart so that's yeah it was a tight score so that's i'm feeling good about that we have all different walks of women we have doctors we have teachers we have um copywriters, chefs, we have um, bookkeepers, magazine owners. But because roller skating in general is just so much fun, it doesn't really feel like you're doing a sport. It's just the initial fitness, you know, the push-ups and all the other things to make yourself a little bit stronger. Though that's, that's a little bit more hectic. But so we have the extremely fit and then we have the really, I don't do anything else other than fitness when I am at Derby kind of people. So it's really for any woman. As long as you want it, you can make it happen. Mm -hmm.